The Bears impressive Monday with their first road win of the season, but can they back it up on a Sunday? I'm Marshall Harris, and this is three things to watch when the Bears take on the five and two Cowboys in Dallas. Everything is bigger in Texas, and I'm not just talking about that stadium. Our eyes will be big, watching to see what Justin Fields does for an encore. After an impressive performance against the Patriots, will he be able to make things happen with his legs and his arm against the number two scoring defense in the league? The recipe should be more design runs and rollouts. So I'll we'll be watching to see if whatever the Bears coaches bake up rises or falls. The Bears leading sack man from a year ago won't be in Dallas Sunday, but the Cowboys will be. Linebacker Michael Parsons, no longer a rookie when he was first team all pro and defensive rookie of the year. But a Bears offensive line that's gone through it will have one of their toughest challenges slowing down Parsons, who already has four games with multiple sacks and a tackle for loss in every game he's played. You have to know where Parsons is every single snap. And our final thing to watch is the Bears running game. The Bears leading the NFL in rushing yards, and they've piled up 480 yards over the last two games alone. If they can get a lead and the one-two punch of David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert, well, they've served as an effective jab and hook this season. But it's Justin Fields who's proven to be the uppercut. After averaging under 40 yards rushing a game on the ground through five games, he's rushed for 85 yards a game over the last two. That's three things to watch when the Bears and the Cowboys go toe-to-toe -to -toe at high noon on Sunday.